Thailand's location has endowed it with a varied ecosystem, as well as a wide-ranging biodiversity. Its central plains are blessed by regular rains. Its highlands are sources for streams and rivers that feed naturally fertilizing algae, and its coastal areas are just as brimming with life. The nation's climate is temperate and tropical, with alternating dry and rainy seasons. Each region of the nation is distinct in its geography, and the country as a whole is conducive to the growth of many different plants, especially over 1,000 kinds of herbs that are highly medicinal and can be used as raw materials in the production of pharmaceuticals as they have been through history with the application of Thai wisdom and now through development into modern medicine. Many Thai herbs are economic crops that are traded both across the country and exported in high volumes each year. In acknowledgement, the government has devoted support to businesses in the herbal industry, providing technical and practical guidance and a research assistance from the source of production through the supply chain to end users. The goal in supporting production of Thai herbs is enhancement of their capacity and standards, as well as their processing into commercial products that respond to domestic and international market demands. Development began with product champions Thai Black Ginger, Kasamunar Ginger, Turmeric, Centella, and Green Chiretta in accordance with the first National Master Plan on Development of Thai Herbs for 2017 to 2021. Come get to know herbs, so you can understand, believe, choose, and use Thai herbs. As the government has decided to support Thai herbs under the Herb Master Plan of 2017 onward for another 20 years, we as the Herb and Thai Traditional Medicine Development Division have taken on its work plan for implementation. Our task is to look into the concepts and practices that will result in this master plan coming to fruition and sustainability. Our cooperation with the National Bureau of Agricultural Commodity and Food Standards, or ACFS, Concern standards for herbs and good farming of herbs according to the standards of ACFS. Towards this, we drafted a plan and declared it for use across the nation, governing planting and harvesting of Thai herbs. Another standard we have set concerns organic farming. One government policy is for seasonal herbal extracts that they be processed and put to market and be able to be stored for use out of season. Seasons with high yields of herb crops should result in supplies that last into the off-season. A second policy is that herbal extracts be processed for use in various industrial applications, such as in the cosmetics industry, the nutritional supplements industry, the pharmaceutical industry, the animal industry, and others. For this, we joined with the Thai Industrial Standards Institute to establish standards, or TISIs. The 74th TISI Commission established the standards for herbs and essential oils. The next matter is research and development, including creating best manufacturing practices. Lastly, we are working with Alibaba to set up a website that is ready to sell standardized Thai products, which can be sold both domestically and internationally. Towards these ends, the government and the Department of Thai Traditional and Alternative Medicine are ready to support Thai herbs so that they may serve the nation's health needs and economy.
Turmeric Botanical Features Turmeric has long been grown in Thai household gardens and is commonly used in curries and sour soups. The plant favors loose soil with its underground bulb its most prized part. Turmeric is a herbaceous plant that can live for many years, growing to between 30 and 95 centimeters. Its underground rootstock is egg-shaped with roots extending in two directions. The flesh of the rootstock is yellow-orange or yellow-red in color and it has a pungent odor. The plant's leaves are green and are tough with sharp peaks. The stalks of the leaves extend down to the plant's roots with each leaf wide and overlapping, forming a spear-like shape. The plant is uniquely fragrant and has circular flowers which also sprout from the rootstock intersecting its leaves. The flower petals are a light yellow color with green accents. Only three to four flowers bloom at a time and the plant's fruits are round with three segments. Turmeric takes about 30 to 70 days to mature and at about 9 or 10 months of age can be harvested. Its bulbs should not be kept for too long and should not be exposed to sunlight because their essential oils will evaporate. Digging up the bulb or roots of this plant will expose its distinct yellow color which becomes golden when matures. Cutting it crosswise uncovers that its inner flesh has rings similar to larger trees. Medicinal Properties Turmeric contains an array of vitamins and minerals such as vitamin A, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B3, vitamin C, vitamin E, calcium, phosphorus, iron, and various electrolytes. It is also full of fiber, carbohydrates, and protein. The medicinal properties of turmeric are also varied with records showing its use in medicine as far back as 5,000 years ago. To be useful, the plant's bulb should not be harvested when it is sprouting because that is when it is low on curcumin. Rootstocks should be 9 to 12 months old before being harvested. Turmeric bulbs are bitter but have a pleasant fragrance. They are antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory, while also effective in clearing lymph nodes. The essential oils of turmeric can remedy stomach aches and cramping, as well as skin conditions, rashes, and diarrhea. Chinese traditional medicine manuals refer to the herb as jia huang or kia ing and note its ability to treat aches and pains and menstrual cramps. A key component of turmeric is its essential oil as well as its curcumin. Ethanol extractions from the plant's rootstock have been found to prevent the enzyme tyrosinase and to have antioxidant properties. Experiments on the plant have not found any possibility of acute poisoning from its use and it is considered very safe for consumption. Several hundred research papers affirm that turmeric can help prevent cancer, which has attracted interest among the public. It is commonly incorporated into food and is a key ingredient in curry powder. Turmeric can be used to dye textiles and imparts a yellow color. The addition of tamarind leaves or fruits changes the dye to green. Red concrete is made using white concrete and turmeric. In olden Thailand, people would rub turmeric powder on their skin, turning them yellow but also protecting them from skin conditions. The same practice was used on shaved scalps to cope with razor burn. In traditional Thai medicine, turmeric is held in high regard due to its numerous benefits and qualities, such as its ability to rebalance the body's energies, 
expel toxins, reduce fever, enrich the skin, and temper the symptoms of many ailments. It is also widely used for female beautification. Attributes for Skin and Beauty Turmeric has long been used to enhance beauty in Thailand. Throughout Thai history, women have been grounding fresh turmeric and applying the powder to their skin, usually to the arms, legs, and face to enhance their appearance. Favoring the herb's pure and non-toxic qualities. In modern times, turmeric is still popular in skin treatments and it was found that the essential oil found in turmeric is antibacterial, helping to prevent acne. Curcumin, a key substance in turmeric comprised of nanoparticles, is able to reduce the overproduction of melanin, and a gel that uses turmeric extracts has been patented as an anti-acne, skin protection, and wrinkle reduction treatment. The curcumin in turmeric helps in the retention of moisture in the skin under the lower eyelid, keeping it taut and healthy, even with regular usage. The herb can also moisturize the skin, and studies have shown attributes when applied internally. Remedies Diarrhea Angina Stomach cramps Bloating Intestinal inflammation Intestinal contractions Swelling of the large intestine and stomach ulcers assists in releasing excessive gas, reducing pain caused by kidney stones, circulation of water in the body, healing of stomach ulcers, maintenance of the intestines, and prevents hemorrhoids. Aids the liver and help prevent liver disease, liver inflammation, and the detrimental effects of paracetamol on the liver, help prevent bacterial and viral infections that may cause stomach ulcers, diarrhea, and etc. Attributes that prevent degeneration and balance the body. Reduces symptoms of gout and treats the aches and pains of arthritis. Maintains brain health, preventing Alzheimer's disease and reducing nausea and inflammation. Can reduce cholesterol, rids toxins from the body and helps reduce the symptoms of diabetes. Aids in coping with cold or flu, allergies and other respiratory impairment coughs, oral ulcers, and strengthens the lungs, as well as corrects respiratory system issues. Applications for blood. Helps in dealing with hypertension, constriction of blood vessels, and has antioxidant properties beneficial to patients of thalassemia. Antioxidant properties. A number of studies have found that the curcumin found in turmeric is an antioxidant and that tetrahydrocurcumin or TH cancer treatment properties. Turmeric can prevent the division and spread of cancer cells with test tube experiments finding it to be efficient against lung cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, intestinal cancer, pancreatic cancer, cancer of the large intestine, rectal cancer, and bone cancer. Study was conducted on 50 patients of head and neck cancer who were receiving radiation therapy aged 54.3 plus or minus 9.86 years who were experiencing skin inflammation due to their treatment. They were split into two groups of 25, with group 1 being given a cream made with jojoba and group 2 a cream with oils from sandalwood and turmeric. They applied the cream to their irradiated areas five times a day for seven weeks. It was found that group two experienced less inflammation in comparison to group one. Turmeric may be able to play a role in preventing intestinal cancer and cervical cancer, among others. Side effects from turmeric consumption. Consumption of turmeric for the treatment of a disease should be stopped. Once that disease has been treated, while turmeric has many benefits, the body can be overexposed with side effects from overconsumption, including nausea, diarrhea, headaches, and insomnia. Southern Thais believe that consuming turmeric in large quantities or frequently can result in cancer, 
dried turmeric should not be consumed over a long period of time because it may cause delirium, vomiting, and bloody stool. Women in early pregnancy should be especially cautious of consuming large amounts of turmeric as it may induce a miscarriage. Source development means giving importance to the planting of herbs, from the selection of species, to finding appropriate locations for their cultivation, to emphasizing organic farming methods. It also means supporting farmers in entrepreneurial groups across the country and the Forest Industry Organization, or FIO, under the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment and its administration of economic forests used as sources for quality herb cultivation. Up to 3,600 rai of land across the country has been devoted to the economic forest program from the FIO's over 11,532 rye of administrated land. The Forest Industry Organization, or FIO, is working with the Ministry of Public Health on behalf of the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment to enter forest lands into the Herb Forest Development Project. One aspect that must be considered for herbs intended for consumption is that they must be chemical free. The FIO's forest lands, which have received certification by the Forest Stewardship Council, or FSC, are obligated to be managed without the use of chemicals in line with international guidelines maintained by the FSC. Since receiving funding and implementing such practices in July 2017, we have seen very satisfactory results with those farmers working with us in agroforestry farming, all benefiting and receiving compensation for their participation. In 2018, we have expanded the types of herbs we are growing from an initial three to a variety of herbs giving our farmers more opportunities for income. The FIO is to commit 600 rai of land to each year of this program, which is running for five years in total under the Herb Master Plan. There are several agricultural evaluation and certification agencies. The Forest Stewardship Council, or FSC, the National Bureau of Agricultural Commodity and Food Standards, or ACFS. Good Agriculture Practices, or GAP, standards set by the Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperatives. Of the Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperatives. Organic Thailand, a brand under the Department of Agriculture I am Nurongsak Bunyawat. I am a farmer in the Wangnam Kiel Land Reform Area Sufficiency Economy Estate in Nakhon Rajasima Province and Chairman of the Wangnam Kiel Organic Herb Farming Group. The entire project covers a combined 3,800 rai, with the majority of farmers growing salad vegetables. My group of some 40 households, however, exclusively grows herbs because the land we operate on can only use rainwater for organic farming. This led us to having to find crops with low water requirements. I decided to choose herbs because, firstly, they can be consumed in our households on a daily basis, and secondly, they can be used as medicine to treat our residents. These are the reasons my group grows herbs. The herbs we grow are mostly turmeric, some in our ginger, and those ordered by the Ministry of Public Health. 
We currently grow turmeric on about six to seven rye, similar to castamon or ginger, which takes up some six to seven rye. The entire operation is organic, and we tend to our farms from the source of our water, maintaining forests, building weirs, and cultivating our herbs in those forests. It is a complete system. Our group is named the Organic Herb Growing Enterprise of Wangnam Kyo. We currently process our crops into products such as a hair treatment that has been certified by Rajapat Nakhon Rajasi Ma University. It uses turmeric, kasaminar ginger, tamarind, gooseberry, and other ingredients that we grow. However, most of our products are sold to hospitals rather than being retailed by us. Acceptance of herbal qualities and an abundance of research by various institutions have prompted the business sector to develop an array of herbal products and put them to market. To ensure confidence among both consumers and producers in herbal products, several agencies now certify such products. Thailand Institute of Scientific and Technological Research, the Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA, Good Manufacturing Practice, or GMP, and Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point, or HACCP, and Thai Industrial Standards Institute, or GMP. Hello. The herb turmeric is an herb that has been used in Thailand for a long time, and is widely known and widely utilized. It has a variety of properties. The root stalk of the subterranean portion of the turmeric plant can be made into a powder that can be packaged into a capsule and used to treat bowel inflation and flatulence. It has been incorporated into the national list of essential medicines. The government pharmaceutical organization has taken turmeric and turned it into a concentrated extract for packaging into capsules, which maintains a standard quality control. The government pharmaceutical organization also uses concentrated turmeric extract in the production of a variety of products. In the realm of medicine, the organization manufactures a product named Antiox. Which is used in reducing the symptoms of osteoarthritis of the knee. We have also increased the functional applications of turmeric, where you would usually see turmeric powder having a yellow or reddish color. We have found a way to process it into a colorless powder called tetrahydrocuminoid. The powder retains all of the turmeric's antioxidant properties while being a liposome, which can be used in cosmetic products and is able to absorb deeper into the dermis. The future of Thai herbs is likely to be a future in which they are popular among people here in Thailand and are well known and favored internationally, because Thailand is home to a large variety of herbs that have an array of properties. At the same time, the government has given importance to Thai herbs and is supporting research and development that has allowed for better quality control and adherence to international standards. Such research is also bolstering the confidence of consumers and medical practitioners who use Thai herbs. My name is Chuti Pong Krop Ariatit. I operate a Chinese herb business under the brand Pratya. My family has been well versed in Chinese herbs for over a century, from the time of my grandfather down to my father, who is depicted here, and is now over 90 years old. I myself am the third generation of this business, and am now 50 years old. What sets our business apart? Is our expertise, because we have knowledge that has been passed down from my grandfather, who treated many people during his time. Our treatments have also been developed throughout our history, and have been with the Thai people for a long time, which makes us confident 
that they are responsive to the needs of Thailand and the Thai people, and that we understand how the Thai people live. Herbs are a matter of nature, which is constantly changing. Many herbs high in demand in China can no longer be found there, but can be found here in Thailand. I personally am very familiar in doing business with China because our company has engaged with the Chinese market for a long time. If you were to ask my expert opinion on turmeric, I would say there is one drawback to turmeric in Thailand. That is, when buyers are selecting products, they often meet with farmers trying to lower their costs by reducing the quality of their crops. Such farmers will immediately boil the turmeric bulb once they have dug it up, which makes it easier for them to dry. This practice is detrimental to the active substances in turmeric. In actuality, turmeric should be baked or dried immediately after being harvested without being exposed to water except for general cleaning. This maintains the quality of the herb. This is, of course, the process of handling turmeric. To tell whether or not a turmeric plant is mature, we have to see it while it is still living, such as when it is freshly dug up. Once it is dug up, you must slice it open to count its rings, with the minimum age of a usable plant being two years. Three-year-old plants are, however, preferable. The older a plant, the larger its bulb will be, and the deeper the color of its flesh, indicating a greater amount of nutritional value. Those are the two main steps when selecting turmeric. Processing starts by choosing the best quality plants. Here at our company, part of the turmeric passes through an extraction process. This process, we have realized, should be the most natural, and we use a method that has existed since ancient times. Our belief is that overly complex methods that use pressure or other technologies results in an excess of the substances we are looking for. Since herbs are a natural product, their processing should also be natural. We don't see the need for an over-dependence on technology. For extraction, the method is boiling, and our approach is timely because we boil our turmeric at least three times over the course of days. Herbs in Thailand today have many strengths. Our weakness really is a matter of marketing. I believe that growers want to grow the best quality herbs they can, but that does not always translate to the best retail prices. Growers and sellers are not always in direct contact, and sometimes sellers cannot find the best quality. These sellers end up investing in learning how to grow the herbs themselves for the sake of stability. สวัสดีครับผมชนันสมบุญเวชการนะครับจากบริษัทแวนโอสดจำกัดนะครับตอนนี้เป็นกรรมการผู้จัดการนะครับวันนี้ก็จะมาเล่าเกี่ยวกับประวัติของบริษัทนะฮะแล้วก็ผลิตภัณฑ์แล้วก็ที่จะเน้นๆก็คือเรื่องของขมิ้นชันนะครับแวนโอสดเนี่ยก่อตั้งเมื่อปี2490หรือว่าเมื่อประมาณ71ปีที่แล้วนะครับเป็นร้านขายยาสองคูหาอยู่เชิงสะพานพุทธนะครับซึ่งคุณปู่ผมเป็นคนก่อตั้งเองท่านเนี่ยก็เป็นหมอแมะนะครับหรือว่าแพทย์และก็เป็นศัชกรแผนโบราณน,นะครับสูตรไหนที่ใช้ได้ดีเนี่ยท่านก็ไปขึ้นทะเบียนกับออยอนะครับจนมาถึงทุกวันนี้นะฮะเมื่อก่อนเนี่ยเราจะเป็นผู้เชี่ยวชาญทางด้านยาลูกกรอนหรือว่ายาจีนนะครับแล้วก็สมัยรุ่นคุณพ่อเนี่ยมาบริหารแทนคุณปู่นะครับก็จะเริ่มมียาจากสมุนไพรไทยมากขึ้นนะครับที่อยู่ในบัญชียาหลักแห่งชาติอย่างเช่นฟ้าทลายโจรแล้วก็ตัวที่ขายดีๆมากเลยก็คือขมิ้นชันนะครับเมื่อตั้งแต่ประมาณ30ปีที่แล้วนะครับขมิ้นชันสรรพคุณของเขาก็คือ,อแก้ท้องอืดท้องเฟอ้อนะครับแล้วก็สรรพคุณที่มีอยู่ในตำราเนี่ยมีมากกว่านั้นอีกก็อย่างเช่นเรื่องแผลในกระเพาะอาหารนะครับแล้วก็เรื่องต่อต้านอนุมูลอิสระนะครับ
แล้วที่เราเนี่ยเ,เห็นขมิ้นชันมีความสําคัญกับประเทศไทยนะครับเป็นผลิตภัณฑ์ที่เราใช้เยอะมากนะครับยอดที่เราใช้3ปีล่าสุดเนี่ยในปี59เนี่ยก็อยู่ที่ประมาณ28ตันนะครับปี60ก็ประมาณ31ตันนะครับแล้วก็คาดว่าปีนี้ดูจากยอดขายแล้วเนี่ยจะอยู่ที่ประมาณ38ตันนะครับซึ่งเป็นตัวเลขที่น่าพอใจมากๆนะครับแล้วก็ขมิ้นชันของประเทศไทยเราเนี่ยเราไม่ได้หยุดอยู่แค่ขมิ้นชันบดผงนำมาใส่แคปซูลนะฮะแต่ทางบริษัทแวนโอสดเนี่ยมีการนำมาพัฒนาก็คือเป็นขมิ้นชันพลัสนะครับตัวนี้เพิ่งได้รางวัลผลิตภัณฑ์สมุนไพรดีเด่นของ Prime Minister Award ในปีนี้ด้วยนะครับขมิ้นชันพลัสแตกต่างกับขมิ้นชันยังไงก็คือตัวนี้เนี่ยเป็นตัวที่นำขมิ้นชันธรรมดามาต่อยอดนะครับด้วยวิธีการสกัดเข้มข้นนะครับเราก็มีใส่ตัวยาอย่างอื่นที่ทาให้สารสาคัญในขมิ้นชันหรือว่าสารเคอร์คิวมินเนี่ยซึมซับเข้าไปในกระแสะเลือดได้เร็วขึ้นแล้วก็ในจำนวนที่มากขึ้นนะครับสับคุณของขมิ้นชันพลัสนะครับก็จะช่วยแก้ท้องอืดท้องเฟอ้อแล้วก็รักษาแผลในกระเพาะอาหารนะครับแล้วก็แนวโน้มของสมุนไพรไทยเนี่ยหรือว่าขมิ้นชันโดยเฉพาะเนี่ยคิดว่าจะเป็นยังไงก็คิดว่าจะเติบโตขึ้นเรื่อยๆนะครับพอผู้บริโภคสมัยนี้เป็นผู้บริโภคที่มีความรู้มากนะครับแล้วก็จะค้นหาข้อมูลได้ตลอดเวลานะครับซึ่งก็เป็นหน้าที่ของผมด้วยที่จะต้องชี้แจงข้อมูลอย่างถูกต้องให้กับผู้บริโภคนะฮะแล้วดูจากยอดเนี่ยอย่างยอดการใช้ขมิ้นชันแต่ละปีเนี่ยเยอะขึ้นทุกปีนะครับก็แสดงว่าคนเนี่ยหันกลับมาใช้ธรรมชาติเยอะขึ้นนะครับแล้วก็ตามนโยบายของรัฐบาลหรือว่ากระทรวงสาธารณสุขนะครับเขาบอกว่าหนึ่งใน 1-5 ปีแรกเนี่ยรถแมพของเขาก็คือจะใช้นวัตกรรมเข้ามาพัฒนาสมุนไพรนะครับนำมายังไงก็คือนำผลิตภัณฑ์ที่มีอยู่เป็นโปรดักชั่มเปี้ยนเนี่ยนำมาต่อยอดให้มีมูลค่ามากขึ้นเพื่อเศรษฐกิจของประเทศไทยนะครับขอบคุณครับ There are also international agencies helping to certify organic farming processes for global acceptance such as the International Federation of Organic Agriculture Movements or IFOAM The validation helps to build confidence in herbal products for consumers and the producers who need the herbs in their products to be of a high quality and accepted for wide distribution and inclusion in each year's many exhibitions and retail fairs. Meetings and seminars are also held to elevate knowledge on herbs to new standards in STEM with the 4.0 era economy. Similarly, there are agencies providing data, academics providing guidance, marketplaces for herbs and extracts, production facilities, and both offline and electronic markets.